Not just a luxury item, but durable medical equipment. It's the difference between infrared and steam saunas. Many people have used traditional saunas for relaxation, but infrared sauna is better and more tolerable. Rather than cooking yourself to death, as is possible in a 200 degree convection environment of a steam or hot rock sauna, our infrared saunas literally manufacture body heat and charge your body with its own energy, allowing your body all the energy it needs to detox at the cellular level and expelling toxins through sweating. Um, what is the difference between hot rock or steam in far infrared? The difference is in the science. Um, steam and hot rock saunas, you're use, utilizing a principle called convection heat. Convection heat means that we're heating the air and then we're heating the body. Um, that heat penetrates the body three millimeters deep. And of all the sweat that you produce in a 30 minute session, only 3% of your sweat is toxins released from the body. Whereas in a far infrared sauna, um, this light penetrates your body four inches deep. Um, vibrating all of the cells in its path, charging them all up, giving them all the energy that they need to eliminate waste at the cellular level. And in a 30 minute session of sweating, 20% of your sweat is toxins released from the body. That is an enormous difference. That's huge. Um, unloading your system and your body of all of those toxins um, gives your immune system a boost. Everything works better when your body does not have to mitigate the toxins away from your vital organs. Um, my joke is I make a pretty mean dinner roast at about 200 degrees in my convection oven. So you can kind of slow roast in those um, old steam or hot rock style saunas, um, being that they do get up to 200 degrees and um, and are using convection heat. So no slow roasting for us here at Celebration Saunas. We are all about um, charging the body with its own energy using um, body heat, essentially, and um, and healing the body from, from the inside out. Um, it does sound counterintuitive that you do sweat more at uh, lower temperatures, but it's absolutely true. In an infrared sauna, we use a principle called, like I said before, radiant heat. Um, this type of heat heats your body directly with light energy. Um, I typically use my sauna at 122 degrees and sweat a lot more than I ever did at 140 degrees. As a matter of fact, sometimes when I want to sweat a little bit faster, I'll crank this sauna up to 140 degrees. And as soon as it gets to a point where it's intolerable, I'll open up the door and start pouring sweat. Unreal, but it has something to do with your internal um, thermostat, your own internal thermostat. So in the same fashion that if you were to go to the equator, your body initially is going to have kind of a, a, a shock and have to adjust to the temperature at the equator. Well, the same thing kind of happens in, in a sauna. So um, as your body adjusts to the temperature, if you put too much stress on it, then it's not going to sweat the way you want it to. But if you just increase the heat gradually and only go up to like 122 degrees, you'll find that you sweat buckets more at much lower temperatures. So something to consider, but I know most of us, we all start at 140 degrees and, and slowly but surely we drop our way down <laughs> to 120. <laughs> um, you know, at this temperature of 122 degrees, we're really um, matching the bandwidth of far infrared light um, that your body is producing. So you're having no resistance to the infrared light at this temperature. Your body is not um, stressed out because of the temperature. Um, so you're going to just take on that far infrared light readily and, and get those health benefits more quickly. Um, your body is never going to exceed a low grade um, fever of 100 degrees. Um, and no one has ever died or become sick as a result of using a far infrared sauna. Remember, we're, we're manufacturing body heat. There's no, this is no more dangerous than holding hands. Um, the same cannot be said for a convection environment. We know that people have stayed in them too long and have um, had serious complications, including death, um, as a result of that. Um, so your body is producing far infrared light in the form of body heat at 9.4 microns. And so do our saunas. We're essentially manufacturing body heat in our saunas, charging your body um, with its own energy. And an example of how that feels is if you were to put your hands together, you should immediately feel the skin between your hands um, become warmer where the skin is touching. 
This is a cell to cell charge. As each cell is charge, charging in your hands, it will charge and vibrate the cells next to it. If we stay here with our hands together, long enough, they're going to eventually begin to sweat together, um, even though the air temperature around our hands has not changed. And that's a really good example of how a far infrared sauna works, is that we're heating the body directly, charging cells um, through a vibration um, all the way into the core, and then for hours after your sauna session, that vibration um, occurs back out to your skin again. Um, so that is what far infrared sauna feels like. Um, it's a lot more comfortable than the dry heat of um, a traditional sauna and you won't find that your your soft tissues like your eyes and your throat um, and nasal passages won't like have that burning sensation of the high heat so sweat buckets low temperatures comfortable to sit in for up to 90 minutes but you can't overdose on far infrared light and no one has ever died or become sick of um, as a result of using uh, a far infrared sauna. Um, the biggest risk in these is dehydration because again you sweat buckets <laughs> and um, uh, you definitely want to hydrate. Um, hydration also maximizes your health benefits in a sauna. Um, the heat of an infrared sauna will penetrate the body uh, four inches deep and all of the sweat that you produce in a 30 minute session 20 percent of your toxins um, are contained in your sweat that have been released from the body. Um, you get numerous health benefits from far infrared sauna use, including heart health, weight loss, detoxification, pain relief, and a multitude of um, documented health benefits. If you go to pubmed.gov, excuse me, pubmed.gov, um, you can search up infrared um, saunas or far infrared saunas, and there are numerous, numerous studies that you can find um, related to a, a number of uh, different ailments. Um, far infrared sauna is no more dangerous than holding hands because we are just manufacturing um, body heat, and more and more doctors today are prescribing infrared sauna to alleviate the symptoms. Um, or improve the quality of life of individuals and in diagnosed with chronic conditions such as fibromyalgia, heart disease, Lyme parasite, cancer, heavy metal toxicity. Um, there's a number of different things that we use. I mean, we use this for everything, cancer therapy, physical therapy. I mean, you're giving your body all the energy it needs to eliminate waste at the cellular level and bring your body to a level of homeostasis at its highest working capacity. So um, we're treating all of these conditions and diseases using far infrared sauna um, and detoxifying the body of environmental and metabolic toxins. Um, we kill heat sensitive parasites like Lyme, uh, cancer cells with heat shock protein of 70 or less. Um, we encourage a passive cardiovascular workout, reducing your bad cholesterol, um, increasing your high density lipoproteins or your good cholesterol, and um, and uh, we kill things like you know parasites and viruses, um, burning up to 700 calories in a 30 minute session of sweating. Um, the benefits really kind of go on and on. Um, and you can look for more resources at celebrationsaunas.com under our health benefits um, to really find a comprehensive list of documented studies um, of the health benefits of far infrared. So thank you all for watching. Um, if you if you have any questions about celebration saunas or far infrared sauna use, um, you can reach us at 855-728-6248. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.